a two-point fight for Taylor, but it could easily be a draw or a one-point fight, perhaps, for Carl Frotch at this point. Many close rounds in the middle of this. I gave round seven to Frotch. That's the difference. Round 12 for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Carl Frotch, the Englishman, wants to retain it. Jermaine Taylor, the former undisputed middleweight champion, wants to take it. Taylor with some crisp punching to start the round. Now Frotch backs him up, and Taylor holds on. This fight has gone exactly according to the script we laid out. The beginning part was Jermaine Taylor controlling. The last part is Carl Frotch coming back like, like all get out. <laughs> Heavy punches by Frotch. The looping right hand has been effective for Frotch. Right hand oh. staggers. Taylor, Taylor's in trouble. Frotch pouring it on. Taylor, he's ready to go. A minute 45 to go. Frotch closing in. Carl Frotch gambling everything. His first defense on foreign soil against the former undisputed champ. And he's got That knockdown is what gave Carl Frotz, even if this fight had ended, a good chance to win the fight. But as you can see, Jermaine Taylor hurt bad enough that Carl Frotz realized, I have a very good chance of ending this fight, which of course is important depending on how the scores would have been. Jabs and right hands were the key. That is what ultimately did in Jermaine Taylor. Taylor was able to give him credit, stay up at this juncture. That's astonishing yeah. because he was getting hit with some monstrous punches. And give Carl Frotz credit for giving himself distance to punch. He didn't get himself so caught up to get so close to Jermaine Taylor that he didn't give himself distance to punch. That was, I think, the key in him ending up stopping Taylor in this fight. And this is the end of the fight. See, Frotz gives himself enough room to punch. He doesn't smother his punches and just keeps punching and ultimately the fight is stopped. What a dramatic ending and what an astonishing performance by Carl Frotch.